right, well, many teens may have dreams of running a business, but few get the chance to experience it, especially before they get into it, right? Well, there's a program at Avondale High School in Auburn Hills where students can get a taste. Mm, not only do they supply local restaurants with their own roasted coffee, but they also do it for a great cause. Michelle Oliver has a story of the beans to bags. It's 9 a.m. on a Saturday, and inside Avondale High School is a group of teens not poring over books in the library, but in the cafeteria making coffee. It's roast day for the students participating in Beans to Bags. Today we're roasting like 170-ish pounds. Beans to Bags is a nonprofit started in 2016 by Bonnie and Wayne Kakuda and their partner Jeff Lau as a part of their larger gift of giving charity. We wanted to not just go out and ask for money. We tried to figure out what are some high demand items that with good profit margins. And coffee fell in that domain. We had no idea how to roast coffee. And we started with these small roasters and it wasn't until uh, a few years later did we buy this commercial roaster. Now their youngest son, Liam, is involved. I just found it interesting about what my brothers did. I have two older brothers, and they both did the program for all four years of their high school. It's kind of like hanging out with my friends almost, but like working at the same time. That's what I like about it. I, even though I have to get up early and come here, I get to see my friends, and it's just a fun time overall. The coffee they make supplies local businesses. We also deliver weekly to uh, two main buyers, which are Family Table and House of Brunch. Which is really cool for us to think that like, because I go to family table all the time, and my dad orders coffee, and I'm able to say I roasted that coffee. Yeah, it is a big responsibility, and the kids kind of really feel it. And so when it's time to roast, they show up and do their best. I'm waiting for this dark roast to get kind of glossy. The best part? All the profits go to a great cause. Half of it goes to scholarships for those who participate, and the other half goes to those in need. Every December we go holiday shopping for kids of Gift of Giving and like shop for all what they need and it's cool to see that our work is really benefiting kids in our community that need the help. So what exactly happens on a roast day? So we'll come in at 9 a.m. to start roasting and we'll start the roaster. It takes about 30 minutes to start. So this is unroasted coffee beans. Yes. So they're almost kind of, I don't know if you guys can see that, but they're almost kind of like greenish in color. Yeah. And so they just kind of Go in here? Uh-huh, yeah. All right. right in. So you're timing it as well as controlling the temp right now? Mm -hmm. Yep, so as soon as you lift it up and every all the beans are in, I'll start the timer. There will be the packers, so we make sure all the labels are put on first, and then as the beans come in, we package them, and then we grind them. When I pick it up, I drop it all the way to the back. Okay. So then none falls off. And then I open the bag with my two fingers and then I pull it. It's tricky because you kind of want to fill it completely full so you get the most in. But you don't also. But then you spill it over if you do. And then we continue to repeat that until we're done. So it, on average, it'll take about three to four hours. And in the process, they've learned more than just how to roast a good cup of joe. When I like pitch to companies, it's just an amazing like way to you know, learn how business works, and not, not a lot of 15-year-olds get to do that. You never know how it affects them that day or that year, but over time, it does have a lasting impact, and that's the part that we hope will happen. Well, locally, you can find Beans to Bags Coffee at the family table and at House of Brunch in Auburn Hills. Now, you can also purchase from them directly on their website. Since starting in 2016, get this, Beans to Bags has raised over $85,000, wow. which has all gone to families in the Avondale School District. That's awesome. Excellent Incredible. job. We're inspired. Incredible. Yeah.